here today in Auckland at our clinic in Takapuna with Dr. Daryl Turner, fresh from the USA. He's come in to lecture advanced um, practitioners of the Thyroflex machine and the Thyroidine testing. So um, I want to introduce Daryl, just say a little bit about him. He's a world authority on thyroid conditions and he did his PhD originally on stress hormones in the USA. He invented the Thyroflex machine which I use in the clinic and if you go onto my website you can click on Thyroflex test and see how that machine works. So Daryl is a hormone specialist and he created ways to identify um, and titrate and dose thyroid and iodine correctly and he now travels the world particularly the Western world, teaching practitioners how to use this technology to get better results with their patients. Particularly patients who are having stress challenges, immune challenges, hormonal challenges, and who isn't. So, Daryl, welcome. Great to see you here. Thank you, David. As always. It's welcome a pleasure back. to be here. Welcome back to AOT Rob. Thank you. So, Daryl, um, in the, the previous clips that are on my website, I've shown people the Thyroflex machine, how to use it, what it tells us about treating low and high thyroids. And to summarize, it, um, you know, obviously low thyroid is the big one. You know, 80, 90 percent of patients we see are low thyroid. You get the few that are high thyroid, and I'd like you to talk a little bit about that because low thyroids are relatively easy to fix, thanks to you. Um, and I'd also like to talk about Hashimoto's and Graves' disease as well, the more difficult cases that we see, because I know a number of the people watching this clip will have heard of those conditions or suffered them, and they're not given much hope by the medical profession, are they? No. So, can you talk a little bit about how you would treat a high thyroid presenting patient, please? Okay, then. If you have high thyroid, it usually means that you are tending towards Graves'. In other words, you have too many thyroid hormones. The cases of too many thyroid hormones are pretty rare, but your reflex would be very, very fast. For instance, if you're a racing car driver, you want really fast reflexes. Uh, if you are a, a gun battler from the, uh, from the Wild West, uh, where I'm from in Arizona, uh, and you're going to go into a gun battle, you would have really fast reflexes. The extreme of this is into graves, uh, where a person's autoimmune system attacks the thyroid. Um, the opposite of that is Hashimoto's, uh, and the other end of the spectrum is graves. Uh, graves is where uh, you have too many hormones and it affects your heart. So your heart starts to go into a little bit of arrhythmia, it may go into a little bit of tachycardia, that is skipping of a heartbeat or rapid heartbeats. Uh, you always feel exhausted, you get brittle nails, brittle hair, um, and um, some other side effects that are not very good. If you have Graves, it is best for you to be referred to an endocrinologist for treatment. A medical specialist. A medical specialist for treatment. Thank you. So Hashimoto's, could you talk a bit about how you would treat that? Because that's a lot sure. easier to treat. Yes. And a lot of patients I see who've come from doctors who've been told they've got Hashimoto's come in very despairingly, sort of tail between the legs, you know, I've been told I've got Hashimoto's, doesn't seem to be much hope, what do I do? And when I tell them, well, hey, there's actually hope. There's more than hope. We've got a very okay. high chance of, of helping you with the condition permanently. Okay. Um, I did clinical trials in the USA on 2,200 people over three years. And we accidentally discovered the, um, the protocol to treat Hashimoto's that's been 100% effective. We treat hundreds and hundreds of patients every single month worldwide. What we found is that by identifying the patient with Hashimoto's that is running a blood test for a thing called TPOAB for the antibodies, uh, that if they have Hashimoto's, we put them onto a treatment protocol that totally controls the Hashimoto's. Um, and it controls it so they have zero symptoms. You just, you live a normal life symptom free, which is very, very important. Why? If you have Hashimoto's, you have a very high symptom score. That is, you're tired, you're lethargic, difficult to get out of bed, you get more depressed. Your brain slows down, your brain is more foggy. Menstrual irregularities you, of the ladies. And yes, your, your periods are not exactly uh, 28 days. You may have uh, clotting or, um, or your periods may last for more than three days. You may get carpal tunnels through the wrists. 
um, and a myriad other facts. In fact, it's impossible for you to walk in a straight line. If you bump into things walking through rooms, uh, then you have a thyroid problem. We take all of those symptoms away with the Hashimoto's treatment that I discovered uh, when we were doing our clinical trials. So for us, once identified, it is very easy to treat, very simple, and every single patient we've treated come back with rave reviews. I have a lot of letters that are sent to me week in and week out with people saying, oh, you have changed my life. I feel like I used to feel years ago. Why does Hashimoto's happen? Well, Hashimoto's is mainly caused by low iodine combined with misdiagnosis and mistreatment of the thyroid. In other words, um, your, your GP may underdose you, which is very, very common, or have you on the wrong type of hormones, say synthetic, mm -hmm. or you may um, have a hereditary factor in there that's pushed you into um, hypothyroidism, left untreated, it becomes Hashimoto's. That's an autoimmune disease that it actually the body attacks the thyroid and eventually destroys it. Mm. Quite nasty condition, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Thank you, Daryl. That's made it very clear and very simple. So I just want to get the message out there to you folks that, that these conditions are highly treatable um, and there's a, nutritional protocols can make a huge, huge difference working in concert with your doctor who's um, upskilled in nutrition um, or if you're seeing a naturopathic physician like myself for the first time who's working in with doctors who can do the relevant testing if needed. So there is hope. There's a lot of things that can be done. Um, so thank you very much for that, Daryl. Appreciate your expertise there.